My name is Mickey Callahan. Two years ago, I was sent away to South Bay Correctional Facility for possession of a firearm. After a year and a half in, my lifelong friend, Jojo Deegan, was stabbed in a bar by Joey Sullivan. When Jojo died on the operating table at Mass General, he left two brothers behind, my crew, and on my release date they'll be waiting for me. Joey Sullivan's gonna have hell to pay, and then after that, I'm out of here. You know they say in Florida, it often rains on sunny days out of nowhere. Well, it rains like that in Charlestown too, in gunfire. Check this one out, Butchie. This one's going over to Tobin. So what time are we picking up Mickey tomorrow, anyway? We ain't getting no sleep tonight, brother. Forget about that. Shut the fuck up in there! <laughs> hey, you know what this means when Mickey gets out, right? Yeah, so I'm making some real fucking money. No, this means we're going to fucking war with the fucking Sullivan brothers. Get ahead of yourself. That's Mickey's call, you know that. Hey, Mickey's got the smarts, his old man's the boss, but we're the muscle in this fucking crew. We've been waiting two years to get these motherfuckers. This fucking blood for blood. Brother for brother, you ready? Let's fucking do this. Get that piece of shit and get him out here. Fuck the fuck down, man. Oh. Listen, I'm gonna do something for you, your fucking piece of shit fucking brother. Never did for fucking JoJo. Fuck Run, motherfucker. Over the bridge rings, the echoes crying, the splash of the corpses fall. Who do you tell that to their mothers now, Mickey? You sit down and tell them why. Charles tells children, sit there wondering who is the last to die. There's two things you should know about Charlestown. One, don't ever talk to the police. And two, if you're gonna kill somebody, make sure they don't have brothers, especially the Deegan brothers, because they'll get yours before they get you. When you do some time, you miss the little things that most people take for granted, like sleeping on a real bed, or opening your refrigerator to make a sandwich, and the scent of a woman. I guess my father didn't want to miss those things again. He's been on the run for four years now. This here driving the car, that's Marty Flanagan, the legend, old school gangster. Thanks for the lift. Any time, man. Remain, the gun still makes the law. No prayers yet been answered, old scores settled. My dreams they forever stand tall. But in the hour of darkness, when the lights go out and the sun it has gone down, through the gunfire smoke come the people's hope. The soldiers of Charlestown, is it the cold and silence that makes a
going on, guy? What's up? You out? Yep. How was the bay? Same shit all? Fucking ain't throwing matter. Yeah. You like the whip? It's nice, right? Yours? No, it's not mine. It's this handsome fuck right there. What's up, Mickey? Hear about my little brother? Yeah, I heard all about it. Yeah, you know, I fucking buried him yesterday. And you know what else? You know those Deegan brothers you hang out with? They're gonna fucking catch one. Nah, uh, these guys can't be arguing about fucking this. Fucking whatever's clever. Your boys are gonna catch one, Mickey. Hey, good to see you, Connie. Yeah, be good. I'm gonna get the fucking Deegan brothers, remember that! Get some more friends here. Get this fucking peeps that want to see you. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. There you go. Ah, you're not good with left and right. Nah, dude, I'm off. Dude, my broom dude did not. Nashua Street like used to overlook the highway and shit. I used to be like, you motherfuckers drive by every day. It sucked because like so bad you could have chicks like showing their tits to you, dude. Outside, couldn't do that in Nashua. Out of my room, anyway. Oh my God, Mickey. Hey, hey, Shannon, how are you? Oh, hey Megan, how are you? Give me the fucking cheek now. You. How you been? When'd you get out? I got out this morning. Why? You couldn't fucking call me and let me know. I've seen you in six months. Shut the fuck up. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go back in, but I'll see you around, Mickey. All right, it's good, hey, to, it's good see to see you. you. All right, you take too. care. I mean, you don't come up to see me for six months. This is a small town. People are gonna start talking. Are you still wearing the ring? Yeah, of course. I love it. <laughs> Even though. Even though what? I stole it. Mickey, I wasn't going to say that. Why'd you, why'd you stop coming up? I fucking hate it there. I feel like so disrespected. They treat me like I'm an inmate. Fucking try to get a feel on me before I even get into the visiting room. I mean, I hate it. I have to wait two hours to see you. You know that I hate it. Yeah, take that for now. So, did you hear what happened? No, what? Patrick Sullivan was found beaten to death in Eastie. No, I didn't hear about that yet. I mean, his brother Joey's going crazy. Hey, you seen the Deegan brothers around? I see them. Man, you might want to be careful. Why's that? <sighs> Mickey's with Marty now. He mess with Mickey's friends. He mess with Marty Flanagan. Yeah, who gives a fuck? When I was 16, me and my father were locked up at the same time while my mother was dying of cancer. Skids would go to the red store for her every day and get her whatever she needed. I've considered them family ever since. Oh, Cadillac. Yeah, I 
it's been a while, huh? Yeah. It's been so long that you're living on the streets now. I talked to Jimmy Dixon fucking the Bay, and he says, uh, you're getting high, you're fucking living on a curb somewhere. What the fuck's going on? Man. You know I lost my Mary a while ago. I'm sorry to hear that, but that's no fucking excuse to be booting heroin I, I, like I, a fucking loser. I fucked up. I fucked up. You know, it's... My father would smack the shit out of you right now. He'd be right. Well, maybe I should smack the shit out of you. But I'm not going to do that. You're a friend of mine. It's like... You know, I mean, I joined the program, you know, about six months ago. Going to start anytime soon. Quit six months. Let me months. see your arms. No tracks, man. You're still drinking up a storm, I can see. Your face is like a fucking apple. Well, come on. I'm out here. It's getting fucking cold out here. I'll ask you one more time. Are you getting high? Yes or no? Swear to You're God, You're putting that no. shit in your fucking toes or something? Swear to God, no. All right, let's take a ride then. Come on. I'm sorry if it's so hot on you, man, but fuck no, it. You're I don't right. want to see right. you living on the streets and fucking... I couldn't believe it when I heard that. You know, I couldn't fuck. I went to the hole for you. I fucking beat the shit out of that guy. Jimmy Dix is a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah let's up here. Generation the tales were passed down of a poor lost souls who wander about town. The ragged clothes and the holes in their shoes, the straggly hair and the rigging of boots. These bread with these seven. Is that really gonna be necessary? Bad. This guy used to run a fucking bookie operation out of the South End. Alright? My father shut him down. The only reason he's living here is because my father's a nice guy, alright? I fucking hate this motherfucker. Come on. And I'll tell you a tale of the parade with these seven From the Donegal set sail Was a not the disease, but rather the hate At Gums Gun where they met their fate What's up? What's up? Uh, how do you spell your last name? Gerald de France, L.A. F-A. N-C-E. Hey, Foot. Yeah. Hey, you gotta go, man. You got five minutes. You pack your stuff up and uh, get out. Got someone else smoking in there. What the fuck are you talking about? Who is it? It's Mickey. Mickey who? Callahan. Pack your shit, get the fuck out. Oh, fuck. Move. Hey, Murph. Look at this here. Second rate Suffolk Downs. Frankie boy. My kind of heart. What do you think, kid? I'll tell you what, Frank. I'll put a hundred on for the both of us. Only this time, you gotta pay me. Pause the silver. Who's here? For Christ's sake! Mickey! For Christ's sake, when did you get you out? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see Frankie, how are you? How you been? Good Friend of Mickey, you're a friend of mine. How you doing? Frankie, what's up? You guys gotta have a drink. Yeah, sure, I gotta use a shot. Jesus Christ! The older you get, you look just like your old man. Unbelievable. I've been getting that a lot lately. Well, I can see it. It's like he's here. How's he doing, anyway? No word yet. Um, yeah. He'll pop up eventually. Slancha. Slancha. Good luck. Oh, that was good. So, uh, Marty's living out in Burlington now? Yeah, he was just here about half an hour ago. Oh, yeah? Nice place to get out there and make yeah, Everyone's moving out. Well, you know what they say. You can take the townie out of the town, but you can't take the town out of the townie. That's the truth. The shame of it is, it ain't the same. It ain't the way it used to be. That's why everybody's going. Can't trust nobody anymore. Nobody. No. I know I can trust you, but there's so many you can't. Not many left. Uh, not like the old days. Is it okay if he uh, stays a little while as a guest? Sure. Uh, you okay then? It's fine with me. You're all set. All right. Hey, I'll, I'll see you around. All right. Okay? I'll see you around. I'll Don't worry. You around.
Good seeing you, Frank. Nice seeing you. Take care. All right, I'll see you. Don't spend all that money with the same <laughs> something. It's good seeing you guys. Take it easy. Okay, Mickey, good seeing you. Uh, he's a he's a great hey, kid. How much time do you do? He wrapped up two and a half years. Really good. Well, he's a good guy. He's solid. One of the last ones oh, left. Yeah, damn. You know, he went in the hole for me, man. Someone was talking shit about me. Yeah. He gave him the what for, man. Well, that's Mickey. You're lucky to have him as a friend. No shit. He's a great kid. Good. He's a great kid. He's calling, so raise a pint and give a cheer. This one's for friends, both far and near. But some are here and some have fallen. Well, bottoms up, the whiskey is calling. Bottoms up, the whiskey is calling. She won. You guys are up to no good. Three Charlestown guys in this car heads up to no good. Come on. What are you up to? We're fucking bird watching. What the fuck are you doing up here? Work. Trying to do it right, you know? I didn't know fucking Tony recorded fucking porn in this early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Mickey, Tony said you stopped by the store last night. Yeah. You know, he had to take cash out of the cash register to pay you. All right, we got we got things to do. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm fucking Jonesing. Yeah, Shaka, beat it. Fucking come down, so she wants my fucking chillaily. <laughs> Crackhead. So you got this one figured out, Mick? I got a guy going in, posing as a customer either tonight or tomorrow night to look around. Get better details of the layout. You know the size of the score? I don't know. Marty's talking a quarter mil. What a mill! We're getting fucked up, motherfucker! Get the fuck off me. You guys are gonna have to take care of Joey on your own. I got heat on me. Even their enemies. It didn't take long for half of Charlestown to find out that I knocked a guy's teeth out to put skids in here, including this guy, Doyle O'Brien. Marty Flanagan's pit bull. One time he took a guy's prosthetic leg as collateral on a loan. When Doyle found out he was using a wheelchair to get around, he took that too. He's a real model citizen. I heard you were up here. Uh, how you doing? Well, I don't you look know. so happy to see me. It's a nice place you got here. Hey. How the fuck are you affording this? Mickey's helping me out. Oh yeah, Mickey, huh? Yeah. I've got something you gotta do for me. What is it? Well, I need you to hold on to this for me. I need you to hide it for me. I need you to put this in place where even the fucking cockroaches can't find it. Do you understand? And when you leave here, shh, when you leave here, you take this with you. Wherever you go, this does not leave your fucking side. Don't shake your fucking head. You see how nice and, see that tape's nice? How it is? When I come in to get this back, it's gonna look exactly the way I'm giving this to you right now. You understand me? Do you understand me? Okay, take this. Take it. Remember, I don't even want the fucking cockroaches to find it, you got it? Listen, 
this here. Huh? This is for you. No thanks. It's a no free thanks. one. Huh? No thanks. What do you mean no thanks? I gave it up. What do you mean you gave it up? I gave it up. Six months. You ago. gave it up. I'll tell you what though. Yeah. Hold on to it. Huh? Sell it. Give it to your friends. Throw it away. I don't give a fuck. Listen to me. I don't think I have to tell you. You keep your fucking mouth shut about that. Seven long years are ringing the bell And seven long more are burning in hell At the well below the valley Oh, green rose the lily Oh, right among the bushes oh. I'll be seven long years are ringing the bell But the Lord above me save my soul from burning and I let the well below the valley oh it's not good good evening good evening we get him in the phone yeah. yeah Mick, it's mighty planning what were you sleeping kid no i'm just watching the movie what's up but this bullshit you and your crew got going with joey sullivan has got to end what do you mean by end i mean nothing to happen to joey tell your crew to stay the fuck away from him is joey going on with us don't you worry about that just get the word back to the fucking deacon brothers I'm serious, don't fuck this up. No. You fuck this up, and you're gonna have Doyle up your ass. Doyle up your ass is definitely not a good thing. But even if I wanted to stop the Deegan brothers, they wouldn't listen to me. Besides, they're outside of a bar waiting for him right now. Can you smell that white sandy beach? I can. <laughs> When Shannon told me she saw skids on the side of the road getting frisked by the cops, I never stopped to think that he was high, or that he had two ounces of Doyle's heroin on him. Where are you going? Don't worry about where we're going. If Doyle found out about this, skids is a dead man walking. Hey, Skids! 
You wanna have a drink? Yeah. Come on. Have to run in your fucking mouth, huh? What? Yeah. doing that good. You know, if you came by once in a while, maybe you'd notice. What do you mean? You know, she really should be in the hospital. Why isn't she? <laughs> why isn't she? You know, leave it up to me. Wh wh why don't you help me with it? You know, and, and uh, here I am, um, you know, Patrick got in a fight, you know, well, he called said, once in a while. You said you're going to keep an eye on her for me. Yeah, I... She needs to go to the hospital, take her to the hospital. Oh. Wait, what do you mean? You know, hey, that's just I, like you. Patrick yeah. had a fight? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah? You know... He went? You know what? <laughs> Leave it to you. That's all you think about. You know what I mean? Right, you, you know, right, this right. is your son, this is your mother, and who's who's doing it? Right. I am. All right, all right, 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 right. Relax, relax. You know what? How do you do, though? Do you win? It's... All right, all right. Fuck, yeah, fuck it. Just that's all it's about for you. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, what's on your face? What's going on? What? Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. You, you just have two old antics? Oh, yeah, wait, right, yeah, right. brush it off. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna wake yeah, Patrick up. Don't forget to leave it on my towel. I'm gonna so. wake Patrick up. Go back to go back to bed. You know what? What are you doing here? This is my kitchen, anyways. It's not a long fucking day. What do you? What? What? Get something hidden? Oh, what are you gonna go iron in the clothes? Does this work? Yeah. You want me to get my load? Wait, what's up? What's up with that? I got clothes to do downstairs. Clothes to do. I'm going downstairs. You got something in your face and you're gonna go on. You expect my me to believe this? It's my blood. You expect me to believe this? It ain't blood. You my ass. Wake up your mother. You know, wake up Patrick. Don't you wake, wake up your mother. Now you're concerned. Now you're concerned about them. Here's my shorts. Yeah, I knew you're gonna go to the beach. Just get out of here. Let's go. You know what? Just grab your shit and get out. What are you doing down there anyways? Nothing. This is my house. I told you I had clothes. This is my house. Go back to you know bed. You're gonna wake my mother up. Fine. You're gonna Whatever. wake her up. You know, back in the day, the early 90s, 91, 92. A lot of real people. Good people. Townies. We're getting locked up. For good. Because of little rat fucking junkies like you. You ever heard of the Code of Silence? No. I doubt it. People like me lived for it, lived by it. Some of us died for it. You wouldn't know the first fucking thing about it. Fuck. I know your type. You'll say anything to anybody. just so you can sliver yourself back to those fucking streets as fast as you can for your next fix. Isn't that right? <laughs> Look at you, motherfucker. I'm gonna take the tape off your mouth. And 
And when I do, if you whine and cry like the little fucking rat bitch you are, or you yell, scream, whereas my mother can hear you, so help me God, I'm gonna give you something to fucking yell about. Listen, are you thinking of doing any fucking yelling? All right. Now, you little cockroach. What did you tell the police? And let me tell you something. Don't even think of fucking lying to me. I didn't say anything. Nothing. Didn't say... I... Wait a minute. You didn't say nothing, huh? You don't say nothing, right? That's how you are. That's who you are, right? You little fucking rat motherfucker. Listen to me. If you want to look like a fucking waffle for the rest of your days, you know something? It doesn't matter to me. All right. All right. I talked. But it wasn't about you. No, wait, wait, wait. I saw something. It's the only thing you're going to be seeing are dead people. I was at the bar, drinking with Joey Sullivan, and he went out, and, and then they, they... Keep talking. It was Mickey Hallahan's crew, they took him. You better not be shitting me. I drive fucking shit faced all the time. That's fucking English either, did you? I just want to live fucking straight. What the fuck you do with dude, this? Dude, fucking. You're not, I got anxiety, motherfucker! You're not fucking steering a boat, dude. <laughs> dude, listen. After you kill a few people, dude, you get anxiety. And I'm fucking full of it, dude. I'm sweating my balls off right now. Nice fucking horn. You know, it's a fucking man. It's a shit. Here he comes. What's up, Meg? What's up? Hey, what's that? Megan's car? What'd you get in the balloon knot last night, bro? <laughs> She's a nice girl, man. Don't fucking talk about her like that. I'm just fucking around, man. I'm sorry, man. My bad. What's the plan? Go to the ferns on Route 1. The room we usually get. Stay there if you guys want to drink. Just fucking do it, you know, after tonight. Right, want to get hookers and Chinese food, just do it after the job. And, uh, that's it, really. Just call me when everything is done, though. No All problem, right. man. All right, later. Dude, this guy, I felt bad for this dude. This dude, he like literally, he probably had like three days left for retirement, dude. <laughs> and everyone's going to sell, dude. And dude, this one big, humongous black dude just would not move. He's like, sir, time to go back to your cell. He goes, fuck you, dude. Smash him with his milk bottle thing. And he got up and was just like, bang, 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 bang. Dude, next thing you know, dude, the SWAT team's in there. They fucking bundled this dude like the Sunday Herald, dude. <laughs> yeah. They fucking, dude, this kid was lit dude. up. This coffee tastes like shit, Jimbo. That's why I don't fucking drink that garbage. I'm so fucking glad Mickey's not doing this with us tonight when we're doing the fucking dirty work. I'm fucking tired of robbing packies and all the fucking bullshit that we've been doing the past two years. Yeah. We need a fucking serious hit, and this is the one we need tonight. Fucking bootlegging fucking t-shirts and fucking some fucking cigarettes just ain't fucking paying the bills, man. That's what I'm saying. That's why we have to do this. We need a fucking big hit. 
I'm sick of my bar tab being so fucking high. And them fucking dumb whores are only gonna pay for it so long. I need my own money. Fuck them cunts. I'm fucking ready for the night. Oh, it's on. Fact. I'm gonna be making some loot. He wants to see us in the North End tonight. Oh, it's no good. No, it's not good. He knows it was us. What are we gonna do? Not go to the North End. For starters, we we'll call Shannon. How does she know more than us? What, because you're marrying her? I get Shannon right where I need her. Don't worry about it. Hey, where you been? I gotta see you right now. Shit's important. Okay, where? Maybe at um, Fall Revere Park in 10 minutes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna meet her. Just lay low for the next half hour, I'll call you. All right, all right. Brothers are dead, and I left Marty Flanagan's brains on the windshield of his Lincoln. Doyle's bullet ripped into my shoulder, but it's just a flesh wound. 
I can hit the highway now and meet my father in Florida, or I can stay here and take over the family business. What would you do?